Today I'm gonna show you how to make smooth glidings appearances just like these. Hello everybody, my name is Captain Luke and welcome back to another episode of Captain's Tutorial. So let's just get started with an easy picture, shall we? And uh, yeah, let's just start with a simple smoothing gliding thing from the side. So what you want to start with is that you just press this uh, timer symbol thing, whatever you call it. You press that so it becomes blue and then a keyframe will pop up right here. Th this is going to be your finish point. I want it to be somewhere over here, let's say that. And then you add another keyframe pressing this, re this uh, circle button. That is your start frame. So what you do next is that you just slide it to where you want it to start. It should be off screen somewhere. So now if you just scroll it you can see that it comes in like that. But you see it's very not smooth. I don't know the opposite word of not smooth but that's the thing. It's very unsmooth. So what we're supposed to do now is to right click on this on the first one on the start point. You right click on the start point. You go down to temporal interpolation or what it's called. And you select ease out because the video is going through this and then it leaves it it goes out of the keyframe and then it comes to the other one so right click on that one and you go back and you press ease in so it goes out of the first one and it comes into the second one so remember that out on the first and in on the second and then you press the little uh, you press the the arrow key on the left here so you open up so you can see this bow and then you take the 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 right one the one that is connected to your ending keyframe. You take that and you just move it to the left and you, you can see how the bow is shaping differently. So this means that the the picture will accelerate fast in the beginning and then it will, it will reach the top about here or about, about there and then from here to the end it will just decrease in acceleration. <laughs> it will break down. So what you will have is something like this. Now, that was a bit too fast. So you this is something that you have to play around with when you're doing your animation. There is not a universal number that you can put here. It all depends on the size of the text or the picture or how far you want it to slide from the edge to the center. So you have to play around with the numbers yourself every time you do this. I thought that was a bit fast, so I'm just gonna take the end point and drag it a bit to the right making the entire slide-in effect a bit longer. Now, let's try and see how it, how it looks like. And that looks uh, maybe a bit too fast. So you can just play around until you think you've found a good, until you're satisfied with your effect. I like that one. That, I, I like that one. That's good. So, now, if you also want your picture to kind of rotate in, what you do then? You go down to rotation, you do the same thing here, you press the little time symbol thing, the little clock thing, I don't know what to call it. You press that one, so you get a keyframe, you move it to the same frame as the top one. There is a line that helps you there, so you can just release it there. And then you add another one, and this is, you, you drag this all the way to the start, just like, just like up here, just like on the top. And then you do exactly the same thing, you right click, and on the second one, you press Ease In, because you're going into the second frame. And on the first one, you press Ease Out, because you're moving out from the start. Yeah, and then you decide what angle you want your picture to be at the end. So you just drag this one, so you can rotate it. Let's say I want it to be over there, 7 degrees. At this point, you can make it to like, maybe, minus 19. Let's see what we have. And then you open up the arrow here, so you can have the, you see the, the same bow again. Then you can mix, you can play with this around as well. And let's see what we have now. Yeah, I think that looks good on the first try. It's very important that these two curves almost look the same. They, they should be as similar as you can, because if you don't, it's going to look something like this instead. You see how it kind of rotated unproportionally to the, to the slide in effect? You saw that? Let's see again. You see like in the middle, in, in the middle of the effect, it likes pop into position, then it slides, con con continue to slides. So you should aim for having this curve looking approximately the same as the, the top one. 
so it's just a, a smooth transition all the way so let's say you want to add some text in this in the in your video type something like uh, hello so the problem with text is that if you're for example if you want your text to come out of nowhere like pop up out of nowhere the thing is that if you move your text away from the from the very center of the picture you're going to end up with something like this you see how the text is not appearing from the very center of the text, which is somewhere between these two L's. What you can do to make this go away? What you do is you just right click on your text and then you nest, you nest it. How should I explain this? If you nest something, it's like resetting the center point. Let's say that. Let's just reset the center point. So what you see now is you have the center point and you move it to the middle of the two L's where you want it to appear from. That's the center where you want everything to expand from. So you move it there and now if you watch, if you lower the scale, you can see that it will pop up from the middle. So that's how you solve that problem. And from here on it's, it's just as the same as the slide in effect. Let's try that. Ah, that's a, it's a bit long, but you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, so that's it. That's all you need to know. Practice this. It's a really, I mean, it, it makes your video more alive, if you ask me. I don't like when it's just pops in like that. No smoothness at all. It, it just, it, this, this looks so much better. All the big YouTubers are using this technique. So just practice it and you, you should apply it to your own videos. So, thank you. I hope you learned something today. If you did, please let me know in the comments below. Also, make sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe. And let's set sail to the next video.